Calculus can be fun and uh, this tutorial is for parents and teachers to talk to their young kids about the concepts that drive calculus. So the first thing is functional thinking. If I know this, can I get an idea of that? Second, what is really different calculus has compared to other uh, branches of maths like algebra and uh, arithmetic is the concept of change. And uh, third thing, very important, you should be able to diagram. So coming to functional thinking, you look at this picture and I ask you to guess who would be heavier. So here is a child and here is an adult man, well built. And you don't have to weigh them to tell me that this man is heavier than the child. So you would say that weight depends on age. That's why the person who is younger is likely to be lighter. Not always true, but in this picture, that's the functional thing that you can guess. Another example is uh, which is hotter. You have two pictures. This is fire logs burning and here is a glass with cool water. So looking at the picture, you can say that the one on the left would be hotter. So we are trained to always guess by looking at what we have. And in calculus, we call that function. So now coming to function and change. So the diagram you have here, let me go to uh, uh, Google Map. So here is Google Map. And I first I choose uh, my uh, place of birth, Katihar. This is the nice uh, view of the place. And, uh, and I look for directions to Delhi. Let me switch the locations from Katihar to New Delhi. And uh, I take a transit train. So on Friday, we have Rajdhani and it gets uh, reaches Delhi in 17 hours, 45 minutes. And it takes this route or route. So here is uh, Kanpur and uh, New Delhi. And train moves along this route. So as I was saying that uh, calculus is about movement. So now we will put this data in a table and see what it looks like. All right, so we are back to this uh, spreadsheet. Uh, this uh, picture of uh, the route Rajdhani Express takes from Katihar to Delhi. So I put this in this data format. And uh, let me change this. So let's start from Katihar at zero kilometers. And uh, but now it would be 289 kilometers. Kanpur would be 849 kilometers. And Delhi is 1287 kilometers. 
so the time it takes 5.25 hours to reach from Katihar to Patna it takes uh, around 12 13 hours to reach Kanpur and around 18 hours to reach uh, Delhi so this data and uh, you can talk to your uh, kid about this picture and what the data looks like in this format so now we will draw this plot so what we have here on this uh, okay now I can draw on this all right so this is my location and this is the time in hours so so here we have 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 hours like that so we said we are taking Katyar as the starting point so over here in 5.2 uh, hours it reached Patna and uh, this is Kanpur and this is Delhi so when we moved from Katihar to Patna the time elapsed is 5.25 hours when we move from Katihar to Kanpur time elapsed is 2.45 so if I put an arrow here so time is moving in this direction so this is the station and time plot uh, I had uh, learned about plotting when I was like in uh, eighth or ninth grade and uh, I tried this with a couple of kids recently and they were able to intuitively grasp this concept of plotting and the concept of change now the next thing is plotting of station and distance so let me and restart so here we took Katihar to be the starting point Patna is here and uh, we had is 200 89 kilometers Kanpur is here 849 kilometers and Delhi is here 1287 kilometers now we go back to the map We go back to the map and choose a spot so so here is Allahabad and Allahabad is between Patna and Kanpur so Allahabad a railway station is between Patna and Kanpur now I ask your child this question that uh, that 
Patna is here and uh, Kanpur is here. So Allahabad, we say that it is somewhere here. And I write in the short Allahabad. All right. So now I ask you to guess that if the train reached Patna in 5.25 hours and Kanpur at in 12.45 hours, where the time at Allahabad will lie. So we can guess that if it is somewhere here, if it is somewhere here, then the time should be between 5.25 and 12.45. So if I write here, time at Allahabad will be between 5.25 hours and 12.45 hours. So this is a guess because we know that Allahabad comes after Patna and before Kanpur the time the train it takes to reach Allahabad will be the, after the time it took to reach Patna and before the time it took to reach Kanpur. Now we guess the distance. If Patna is 289 kilometers from uh, Katihar and Kanpur is 849 kilometers from Katihar, so the distance, same thing, distance will be between 289 kilometers and 849 kilometers. So we can safely say that Allahabad cannot be less than 289 kilometers from Katihar or it cannot be greater than 849 kilometers from Katihar. It has to be in between. Now we'll have questions like how we can guess how long it takes from to reach from Katihar to uh, uh, to Allahabad or from Patna to Allahabad and what would be the distance of Allahabad from Katihar to Allahabad. So these are the questions that we will handle in the next tutorial on this topic. So, revising this, what we did, we looked at functional thinking and the functional thinking was that the distance of a station from Katihar, if we know the time, we can guess the distance or if we know the time, we can guess the distance, sorry, I repeat it. If we know the distance, we can guess the time. If we know the time, we can guess the distance. That's the function. And here we learned to plot. So this plot is by hours and location. So as we move from Katihar towards Delhi, we move in time and 
distance as we move from station to station we gain distance and in the next uh, tutorial we'll learn about how to calculate the rate of change from a graph like this so this is all for this uh, session and uh, I look forward to your feedback thank you Thank you.